Hey, 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 guys. Crocky, that didn't work so well, did it? Anyway, a few months back, I promised this man, Richie, a flight in that there aeroplane, and I'm a man of my word. And I like a race, so I said, let's add the bikes. Some very cool bikes. And I thought I'm in the area, so why not come along as well? This, this is, is Bikes v planes. planes. Now, a few years back, you may remember there was that classic Top Gear episode when they took, I think it was a Bugatti Veyron, was it? Down the south yeah, of France. And they, uh, what was that? Did you, no speaking either. Anyway, and they raced that from the south of France against a Cessna from Ooh. this very airfield. And uh, I was a bit miffed as a pilot because that plane won, or the plane didn't win, and there's no way, no way, would a road-based vehicle beat an aircraft over that sort of distance. So we have decided, as we have the wherewithal, we would recreate that episode. So we're gonna fly from Shoreham, in the south of England, put a map up then, Chopsy, and uh, we're gonna come here to White Waltham near Maidenhead, which coincidentally is where the original Top Gear finished as well. And me and Richie are gonna beat these guys on their bikes. We're gonna be in the plane. Not so a chance. Never gonna win. Not and a trust chance. me, a plane will always win. One there gets the round in. We've got quarter of a mile, right? We've got to get it fired up yet. Yeah. I've got him sat there, have you had where I'm going? Their bikes are right there. Medals losers! We're we'll overtaking, don't worry. We'll catch you, we'll catch you. Right, it's on now, let's sync up again. This is 10 minutes we've wasted just getting the aircraft. It's not right, is it? Oh. God's sake, Chops, come on! Oh God, right. TMF and Richie are off. Andy's already gone. Andy Mancam. Chops is there. Now I'm using the KTM app. John's using Google Maps. So we'll see which way it takes us. They'll be on the road already. They'll leave the keys back at the car. <laughs> Just for that. Right. I'm terrible if you have to bump start it, it's really hard work. <laughs> and the electric is the first away. Oh, there's a lot riding on this one. I am the future. I have a lot to prove. So we'll see how this beast does against the Kawasaki H2, against the Zero SRF electric bike, and against TMF's mate's plane. Massive thank you to you, sir, by the way, for lending uh, us the plane for this little expedition. Yeah, he's gone. Oh, there we go, 60. Ooh, that's good, seven, that'll do us. There we go, can't see anything splattered around. What was the, uh, what's the thing? What's that? Oh my God, look at that, that one is off. That's well spotted, sir. What the hell is that? I don't like the look of that, do you? That's not good, is it? What is that exactly? Like an O2 sensor, I wonder if that's to do with the issue. That was definitely like that before. Was it? Yeah. Was it? Because I remember seeing it. Yeah. Off and I just thought it's obviously not important. Oh wow. Um, because you'd been under here anyway. So Andy's been telling me the plane is a hundred, a measly 190 horsepower. This bike is about 220 horsepower. So he doesn't really stand a chance. I know what will be happening in that plane right now. There'll be all sorts of fafferage going on. Richard will be too busy setting the cameras up. He'll be checking all his oil pressures, getting permission to land or permission to take off. I'd, I'm, I think there'll be at least 15 minutes worth of faffage going on on the ground, which is 15 minutes so we can hit it. Oh shit, Max, this could be the end of our race, mate. I don't like the look of that. Oh, what an absolute pain. 
my old mantra, if there's doubt, there's no doubt. Mm. That one's the same look, it's connected and it says yeah. fuel on it. I'm not sure I want to be flying with something that's potentially got fuel spraying out onto a hot engine. Game over. This is saying an hour and a half. Oh, God. It's a 20 minute airtime flight, apparently. So, TMF and Rich, they have to do their pre flight checks, faffing about. Then they've got to take off, fly, wait for permission to land, do all the uh, faffing once they land. And then they have to jump in the car and get to the pub. We're meeting at the, I think it's the Beehive pub. So this is the issue with flying. There's so many things that can get you, and I don't like to fly if there's any doubt about the safety of the aircraft. And I don't like the look of a line that says fuel on it that's disattached from the engine. So we're going to see if we can find somebody that knows about these things, i.e. an engineer, see if it's safe to proceed or not. It seems to be closed. I think back to that flying club and see if they've got any ideas. Yep. Oh dear, me think this race is lost without it even starting. Uh, which way is the Santa going to take us? There's a couple of different options when we get a bit further on. There's a couple of different options. I think the sat nav said this could take about an hour and 20 minutes. Sorry, filtering. Sorry, 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 we're in a race here. Okay, AMG, despite the cost of your vehicle, I'm afraid I'm going to have to spank you. Will they be in the air yet? I don't think so. I think they'll still be faffing on the ground. I can't see them being in the air yet. I should have set a timer. We needed a timer. What is the time? The time is two o'clock. Well, the lads are going to be way ahead now. This is not looking good. 20 minutes head start they got and we're still here. It sounds like such a setup, but trust me, I thought we had this in the bag. What, why, what? Indicating right and then I'm going left because I want to kill a biker. Bruce out of my dirt box on the GT still. You lads will be knocking yourself out now all the way to White Waltham. And we're still here. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. But better to be safe than sorry. Ah, oh, you're not doing that, Bruce. You're not overtaking, sir. Oh, no. Ah. We let him by. We let him by. Ah, oh, this is Andy. We've caught up with Andy. 83 miles of range and 82% battery. And a little bit too much speed. Oh my God, we've got a land shot behind me. <laughs> oh no. And Bruce. Jesus, I've been too slow. All right, so so I'll attempt to start it without priming it then. So that's fine. And if it, and if it starts, we're good to go as far as you're concerned. Yeah, yeah. And then obviously I'll get engineering at Waltham to check it out. Brilliant, brilliant. Lovely. Thanks so much for your help. You've put my mind at rest. Thank you. Cheers. See you. Bye. So, I was talking to an engineer down the phone. He was saying it's perfectly safe to fly like that. The issue, of course, is if you prime it onto a hot engine, yes. you could have a fire before you start. So, he's saying because it's a warm day and we only landed a couple of hours ago, it's probably um, warm enough to start the engine without priming it. So, if we can get the engine going with no priming, and it's hard to start anyway, that plane. But if we can get the engine started, we're good. We're good to go. And then Waltham can fix it at the other end. Yeah, so it's a job. Game on. Continue for five miles, was that? I can't hear what she's saying. Quarter of a mile turn, road closed. I was turned right anyway, so I'm all right. No, I said turn right. See you later, Andy. Then what? Turn right, then what? Oh, there's some sort of street market on. Sorry. Oh no, I've gone wrong. Oh. Oh, no! 
I can't remember the name of this place. Is this the one that begins with a P or the one that begins with a name? Black bits only. Fingers crossed, this is the moment of truth. Come on. Ah, which way now? Which way now? Come on, give me an update, Senna. Which way? 50 yards. Third exit. Well, I can't see them. They're probably going to pop in front of me somewhere any second now. Right, aggressive filtering. Imagine we're half an hour late for work in the centre of London. That's the kind of level of filtrage we want to be dealing with here today. Oh, I should have scouted the route beforehand. I ain't got a clue where I am. But there's Bruce. Is this... This is Petworth. Or is this... My, no, this is, this is Midhurst. This is Midhurst. Go left at the first exit of this roundabout. Which way is Bruce going to go? Yeah, he's going left as well. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yes, yes. Woo, woo, woo. Rock and roll. Woo, 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 woo. That was easier starting than ever. Yeah. Oh, we're back. The race is back on, Sunbeam. This is brilliant. Holy mackerel. That was there. Uh, that should go for a bit, wouldn't it? Right, we're all good. Oh, wow. We've got to start with no frowning there. It's brilliant. Right, 1200 is set. Let's not get too excited. Let's check everything's working or as it should be now. So we've done that. Uh, max good. Throttle is set to 1200. Oil pressure is good. Alternator output is normal. When these overread these speedos anyway, you can factor in 15% overreading. So if I do 34 indicated, I'm probably bang on 30 GPS. Vacuum's five-ish, that's good. Magneto is checked for dead cut. Left. Right. They're fine. Fuel, oil pressure and temperatures. All coming to the greens. Fuel pump can come off. That's the thing with this route. It's all um, it's through a lot of little towns and villages. Snip in. Hey, Nassos. Chops has obviously got a different speedo to me. Your pressure is remaining good in the green. Now this is a lovely stretch of road. This is the A286. Oh, down to 40. Right, trimmer is set. Throttle friction nut is tight. Mixture is rich. Car beat is on cold. Mags are on both. Primer is locked. We're touching that puppy. Flaps. One, two. Fuel, we're on the uh, left tank, which is the most. Fuel pump is on. Well, this is good. A nice bit of battery recharges going on here on this downhill. There you go, the range has dropped. There you go, the range has jumped up by one mile there. Oh, and back down. <laughs> that was short lived. There's Andy, Andy Stewart in the lead. Never mind the plane winning. I draw the line at the electric bike. There he is. That's a tighty. That's a tighty. I had to watch my camera. I could ground out me Insta360 around here. There's our electric monstrosity. Oh, there he's done me. Look at that. Oh, that really made me jump. I'm so used to the silence. <laughs> Boys, just for reference, it is up, look at the time, 2.30 before we've even set off. So I'll tell you what, the zero's kind of keeping with it. Oh, not around this stuff though, that's ridiculous. And Golf Gunner Bravo's at the 1-4, hold ready for departure. Who's 
done him. Oh, into another 30. Into another 30. So 20%, say 20, 25% for GPS correction, 25%. Let him off! <laughs> I'm watching you, son. Come on, come on, come on, you're in the airplane, do it fast, man. Fuck off, go on, fuck off for that thing! <laughs> I can't hear you, you're too it's noisy! A, it's a monstrosity to motorcycling! Cheeky bastard! It's the future, my young man! Runway 1-4, go for the runway. I missed completely what they said. <laughs> I can't hear the sat nav. Is the intercom as loud as it will go? I think I've got to turn off. Single whites. As long as we don't cross them, we're okay. I'm not crossing them. I'm not crossing them. I just want to spank it. <laughs> uh, I said something then, I think that's what it said. Uh, I can't keep up with this. Batteries are just going to be too dead. We're going to make it there. Down to 60 miles range already. I'm taking the next left. I don't know if it's right. Is Andy going this way? He is. Oh, you are right. Oh, I nearly ruined it there. That would have been a disaster. I wonder how the boys are getting on up there. And it's Goodwood uh, race course here look, on the top of the hill. Which I think is where they do the revival, isn't it? What's the, uh, the big Hello, castle down below us? Uh, Goodwood House. Oh, no. oh. They used to have that big sculpture out the front for the... Yeah, it's Goodwood House, that with the turrets, the green, yeah, green dome. Stunning, yeah. Beautiful viz now. Yes, yeah. Wonder where the boys are. Oh, I dear. I reckon they'll be at Bracknell by now. I doubt whether they're even in the air yet, in all honesty. I think they're probably still sat on the... Maybe they're just taking off now. I think it's about 25 minute flight time. Then they've got to land. There could be traffic around Farnborough. Then they've got to park the car up, the car, park the plane, secure it, put the disc lock on, whatever you do with planes, and then run to the pub. There we are, we have still got a chance. They're all going different routes, aren't they? So we're they're all going different routes, yeah, which uh, I'm not sure how. But one of them, they, they all got to be there, or one of them got to well, be there. Well, they're making the rules up as they go they are, around. They are. Really, really which way now, sat nav? Talk to me. Straight, I haven't said anything. I guess it's straight on there. 
My sat nav's not talking to me, which is it straight on? What? My sat nav's not telling me anything, is it straight on? Oh really? Uh mm, I don't know, yeah it is, yeah. See, I've seen it anyway, I've seen it. Too late, I've seen it. It's not fair, you can be all extravagant and give it beans and pops and bangs. I'm thinking, oh what's my range now? Yeah mate, that was that was loud, I felt that. Well, felt it. I felt it. We're all right, they've probably not even taken off yet. No. I think we're safe. I think we've got us in the bag. It's just between petrol and electric now. I don't know where Bruce is. I think Bruce must have gone a different way. Oh, he's been there. Call lamb chops. Hello, boy, are you recording? Hello? Hello, who's calling? Hi, John, it's Bruce, teapot. Sorry? Is that Sarah? Oh, sorry, I can't hear. I'm just riding my motorcycle. I can't hear you. <laughs> Is that Sarah? Oh, yeah. Who's Sarah? Uh-huh. I know who Sarah is. It's Sarah from KTM. If it's any consolation at all, Sarah from KTM, I don't think you sound anything like me. <laughs> Hello? Bye. Right, it's all good, Rich. We've got uh, Barbara talking to us. They're not quite as busy as early. Uh, Visibility is beautiful now, look. I'll talk everything up, but the T's and P's are good. Time, 20 to 3. 50 minutes to get there, get on the deck, secure the plane, get in the car, get to the pub, get a drink. How far from the uh, car is the pub? 10 minutes. Okay. It's going to be close. It's going to be much closer than I anticipated. Once again, I'm in the, the theoretical potential lead, but I think he's going to be right up upon me any second now. Got some uh, high intensity radar transmission areas there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those domes. Yeah, they're a little golf ball thing. Yeah, you can see on the map here, I don't know, it's got like a, a hashed red bit. Right, basically don't go over there because it'll fry your gonads if you do. Well. You might want more kids, I said they don't, but you might want some, so we won't do that. I might fry you going out. Exactly. <laughs> Where, Satnav? Why aren't you talking to me anymore? He's getting away again now. I'm going... Shut up, talk to me. Right, this is your chance, I think. Uh, Rich, let's have the camera. Right, you have control. Oh, what do I do? Just hold on to it. I've yeah. got the rudders. OK, just get a feel for it. Right. Well, if you pull back, you go up slightly. We don't want to go up. Just, so just pull back a little bit, so we're at 2,200 feet. Back and left and then forward it. It's very sensitive, yeah? Right, yeah. Right, left hand down because we're turning left. Oh, left bit more, keep going left. Keep going left, turn left. Right. You got it, you got it. Keep going left a bit. That's a bit more. Right, yeah. And now we need to straighten up and go up another 100 feet. Look. So we're at 2,200, okay? okay? Oh, this is harder than it looks. A lot harder than it looks. Oh. Okay, now we're going too high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, push forward quite a lot. Sorry, not too much, so we'll leave the seat. Oh, it's alright, I have control. <laughs> yeah, you take over. <laughs> that's that's very sensitive, isn't it? Very, oh, very, very, very sensitive. sensitive. Yeah, you, you take control. Get yeah, back to where we are. I'll let you have a taxi when we get on the deck. That's even weirder because you steer with your feet. There he is, we caught up with her. The mobile handy cam. That is Andy Man Cam. Yeah, 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 filtering here. What have we got behind here? What is this we've got behind? Yeah, I'm not so sure about this, but that's what it says. I don't know what's happened to Bruce. I don't know what has happened to Bruce. Maybe he's gone a different route. Oh, God, even slower. Is there any point in riding in the south of England anymore? 30s, 40s, 50s. All through 30, slow it down, Chopsy. Remember, 30% margin. So I can do like that much, probably 30% GPS. Spill into it. Uh, Chops has come in the same way. Oh, we got on the dual carriageway though. That's that's game over. That is. First exit A333 in quarter of a mile. I have to pull the clutch every time she talks, I can't hear otherwise. So we're going on the A3 in quarter of a mile. That wasn't in the brief. <laughs> I must have gone wrong somewhere. But Andy must have done too. 
Uh, we're just destroying him on the slip road now. It may be 190 horsepower that, but 190 meters of torque. Can't even see on chops. He is gone. Sounds good in here. Oh, what a racket. There he goes. Forget about it. Game over. <laughs> oh, somebody's been shot. <laughs> What a racket! With a flame! Oh my word! That is a finely voiced machine. Yeah, the, 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 the tiniest movement to yeah. make a, a big correction on it, Jeff. And once it starts to get away from you... Oh yeah, he was starting to get away from you, and then yeah. you started to bend it makes it worse. Yeah, yeah. That's what's called pilot-induced oscillation, you're trying to correct and you're over it. It's a bit like driving, driving a boat, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You have to wait for it to settle down. It's perfectly trimmed up now, look. Yeah, it's in 2,000 feet, I'm not doing anything. Yeah. And it's just as you like. Yeah. I can do it with my feet if I want. I can use the rudder to, to turn the nose that way. Oh, yeah. Or that way. But it feels wibbly wobbly because that's yeah. not really how you want to be flying the plane. Roll up! Roll-on test there, and I think the H2 definitely had it. I had it for a second. Well, let's say I kept with him for a second, but after that, game over. He was in the running for a split second. <laughs> then it got destroyed. Got him. Oh yeah, the first exit's this one. Beautiful average speed, national national speed limit on a dual carriageway motorway, 150 miles an hour, isn't it? Isn't it? I wish. So we are currently looking at 50 miles range, 52 kilometers to travel, so that's about 30 miles. But it's going to take 58 minutes, so I think it's going to get pretty twisty once we get off of this dual carriageway. Oh, whoa there, find you. Slow. There we go. Right. A little bit excited there. Oh no, the boys are doing up there. And uh, to our left, this town is Farnham. Yep. Which is that, isn't that where Barnstormer is, the uh, BMW? Is that Farnham? I think it is, yeah. Can you see a Kawasaki anywhere? <laughs> Come on, Chops. That, How are you doing back there, That green paintwork should be glinting back at us. Well, that's looking like the end of the dual carriageway and, uh, well, the... Oh, the national speed limit part of the dual carriageway at least and not a moment too soon because that absolutely rinsed my range now suddenly confidence at being able to get there is greatly reduced as we're now down to less than 50 percent or 48 percent charge and we've only just pretty much reached the halfway point of the journey next exit next exit half a mile Oh, I can hear myself think again now. Right, how's it looking? We've got 108 knots across the ground. We're not actually flogging it very fast, so... We've got a bit of a tailwind, that's good news. Okay, good. Because we've only got an uh, airspeed of 90 knots, so we've got a 20 knot tail speed, uh, tailwind. Oh, which is about 30 miles an hour, so that's useful. It feel like we're doing 130, does it? I was just about to say, what is that in terms of yeah. miles per hour? Over, over the ground, we're doing about 130 at the moment. And we're just about to cross the M3. We need to filter here, we've got a tractor. Bloody tractor! Let's do one. We've got a bloody tractor! Uh, this is when, I know when Top Gear have done this before, they've raced cars versus planes. Cars don't have a chance because they cannot filter through the traffic. The only thing which has got a chance against a plane is a bike. <laughs> Go! 
go, go! Turn right, turn right, turn right. Oh, come on, mate, I'm being held up by a bike now. Held up by a bloody bike. And the bikes are against me. Oh, that's a lot of front brake. That's the beauty of this thing. The grunt is awesome. It's beautiful. Bop, past. Bop, past. Anything at all. Bop, past. Except a supercharged H2, obviously. I'll tell you what, though, through the twisties and stuff, this thing will keep up with that, no problem, because you can't use that power. You can't use the top end insanity that that H2 has. Although we're back in town, we're also back to aggressive tactics. Well, aggressive for somebody that lives in Germany where filtering is essentially banned. Don't get much practice these days. One of the things they teach you when you learn to fly is to always be ahead of the aircraft, so you're in charge of it. It's not doing things that you're not ready for. So yeah, yeah. I've got the next airfield dialed in. We've already got the clearance for Farnborough. We're about to go over. Everything's nice and smooth and all set up right and in balance. I'm getting in my head where the where the airfield is and starting to think about what I'm going to do when I talk to them. So yeah, I feel like I know what's happening in the plane. It's not driving me. Sometimes it's stuff all happens. Yeah, yeah. Someone steals the other way, and that's when that's when truck problems happen. Yeah. Just found new tarmac. 30, really? Behave, you can't do 30 down here. 30? Oh, come on. Come on. Chops and I are fairly evenly matched for road riding, I would suggest, and we're both similar builds, weights, that sort of stuff. But uh, you get onto the faster bits, that H2 is gone. This, I mean, it's not fair, because I'm not purposely not breaking any speed limits or anything like that. Not, not suggesting lamb chops is, but uh, you know what I mean. So a few stats about this bike while we have to sit at 30-ish miles an hour through the traffic. This is a Kawasaki Ninja H2, which is the only production bike to be fitted with a supercharger. So this thing is a thousand cc supercharged it's the most powerful production bike road bike ever produced <laughs> as simple as that oh, it's absolutely stonking hot today but as to be said one of the real benefits of a zero bike is it doesn't get hot there's no heat coming from the bike into my legs it's a real plus i bet lamb chops if he's in this traffic 20 miles ahead by now probably but if he's in this traffic i bet he's absolutely cooking from the nuts up clearance to cross Farnborough, so this is obviously Farnborough here again. Yep, yep. You might be able to put the camera, you can actually see down there, you might be able to see it. See should be able to, yeah. yeah. Should be able to see it down there. See quite well from here. Yep. So big corporate aircraft only really jets, that sort of thing. Yeah. From rich Arabs. But that's, that's the only thing that goes Pretty much there. most of that, and it used to be the air show, but they've stopped doing that now, which is incredible. Right, and then the next town on is Bracknell with those white buildings. Okay. Um, I just know that I need to be to the left of those when we get there, so I'm clear of Heathrow's airspace. Because yeah. all of that to the right, in fact I can see Heathrow, the, the grey buildings to the right is Heathrow. Yeah. And of course we don't want to go down near there. Right, what does it tell me to do? Right, follow this traffic then. Awesome. This bike is built as an example of what Kawasaki Industries can do. Not just the bike division, but the whole of Kawasaki Industries. Even the supercharger on this was designed in-house all by Kawasaki. The impeller is all uh, uh, done on a five axis milling machine from one piece of aluminium. It is an incredible bike. But I have got a sore bottom starting. Kawasaki, you could have put a bit more foam in the seat, mind. Well, we're now heading towards the town, which is every man in the penalty wall's worst nightmare, bag shot. And on the way to Bagshot, we have 45% charge left in the battery. The projected range of 35 miles. 30 kilometers to go, so that's about 20 miles left. So at the moment we're working on roughly a 10 mile surplus 
in the batteries. 30? Are you kidding me? What is this 30 miles an hour for? No! You're killing me here! Okay, 30 it is. Oh. Out of the way, sirs. Out of the way, sirs. We are racing an aircraft here. Out of the way, sirs. In your own time, matey. Move over any time you feel free. Don't be shy. Just move over whenever you're ready. That's fine with me. Go on, whenever you want to go, just go. Just move yourself over, that's it. Over you go, sir. Over you go. No? Can't tempt you. Board. 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 A lot of loads of um, private jets all lined up down there. Yeah, a bit of cash down there. Yeah. I'm tempted to move over. It's not a copper behind me, is it? I'm all paranoid now. Just seen a white Fiesta. Look at this bloke. It's on the outside lane. What? What an imbecile! Does he not know the rules of the road? I'm letting this guy through because it looked a bit copperish. It's okay, it isn't? Still bored. It's not helping. Oh yeah, that mast over there is called Backshot Mast and that's the corner of he throws air traffic zone. Oh right, okay. So you've got to definitely be this side. Yeah, I generally think Bracknell is a good thing to keep to the left of, but that's the absolute limit of it. So I'm threading my way between Backshot Mast and, and uh, Blackbush Airfield here. Okay. Because you don't want to be in air, tra air traffic zone. They've got control two miles all around their field. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So it's a bit like threading a needle at this point. Board. Why has he not moved over? What a complete toss pot. There's a plane! Right, I can see why it now. The, dra the drama when we left is enough. <laughs> yeah, that, that was enough. I thought we might be there waiting for a taxi for my wife for a long time. <laughs> we definitely would have lost then. And boy, was she in a, in a mood. Oh. He may not have been in a mood. Nice flower, in case you're watching. Ford. Oh, this is going to be painful. Oh no, the camera's not working. Oh, this one. That'll be Bruce. What's that? He said police incident in progress. What's Bruce done this time? Yeah. So actually, I've been doing this motor vlogging lark for a, quite a long time now. Six or seven years. And the whole time, the biggest worry is always batteries. Are your batteries going to last? So with that in mind, I'm not sure how I feel about the fact that I'm riding around on an electric bike while I'm doing this motor vlogging nonsense. It's suddenly all of the worries become about batteries. Mm. I'm gonna get through there, am I? Oh, mate, you absolute legend. Cheers, dude. Safe to say, absolutely nobody was doing 30 miles an hour there. Nobody. Except me, obviously. Now we are quite fortunate that we've actually got Andy in the plane. We have our own version of Captain Slow. <laughs> Captain Andy, Captain TMF, at the helm. It's five to three. I reckon we got 25 minutes before they're due to arrive at the pub. This is gonna be, this is gonna be close, mate. Holy cow. I hope they didn't realize how close because they'll be really trying hard, if they knew. If you're going left, I'm gonna tuck in here. Smash off up this way. Thank you very much. Tell me again what to do at the roundabout, please. Could you repeat yourself, please? I didn't catch what you said. Straight on. I think it has to be straight on this roundabout. I think it has to be. 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 Guys, absolutely baking. It's like 25 degrees. I am sweating like a rapist in court. Oh no. A truck in the way. He sees a gap, he takes it. Rawr, the crowd goes wild. Ah. Under the camera, where well, you can budget in 45%. I'd imagine. <laughs> Difference on the GPS. 
Oh, Sandy. He's getting on. Wonder if he's run out of juice yet. We are now over the M3, which is a good marker of having made wonderful progress. We've got 20 kilometers to go, 31 miles in the tank. Some of the slowest traffic in the world. My God, it's hot on this bike. It's currently 30 degrees outside. My family credentials are on fire and not in a good way. If you could just move out of the way, mate, that would be wonderful. See that big gap to the left of you? That's for when you're not going faster than the other guy. Right, can you see White Wolfham now, do you reckon? Just build up ahead. Yeah, you can see it, yeah. Right, can't be come off, let's do brakes. Oh, off, undercarriage is fixed, mixture is rich. Indicators are all in the green, flaps are up. Still pump can come on. We're on the right tank, that's fine, car be. Is secure. Approach checks complete. Straight on. Some direction would be nice at this point, so I ain't got a clue where we are. Are oh, we even still recording? I'm gonna have to change those batteries, or we may better make it, I don't know. Up the front. This is it, off the lights. Quick getaway, beat both the cars. Launch control. I think you hold that down and the mode button down to engage launch control. I don't think we need to get away quite that quickly. Oh, we are racing a plane. <laughs> 11 miles to go, folks. 11 miles. I bet you the flyboys are there by now. it but it could be in a fantasy world where this bike could also fly right so I'm in the white arc here on this bit on the airspeed indicator means I can deploy flaps if I'm in that white bit slow enough it won't rip the wings off so we'll pop one in that slows down a bit okay gives us a little boost of lift as well so I really I'm feel that as well can't yeah you? I'm gonna have to put a bit of trim in Chops is probably just arriving on the back wheel as we speak <laughs> Right, she's on short final now, ready to land. We've got plenty of time behind her. And uh, one more stage flat way. There we go. Slow us down a bit more, give us a bit more lift. She's about to touch down. Going in that way. Speed is good. Golf Delta Bravo, turning final 1-1 one, one for landing. God, I sound like a pilot sometimes, I don't know. Filterage. Filter, 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 filter. Second exit straight on there. Oh, this is infuriating. Oh, we're so very close now. 11 kilometers to go. So what's that? That's about six miles. 25 miles in the tank. I think we've nailed it. I think just just to be able to get there without having to stop and charge is a bit of a result. If I get there before anybody else, I'll take it. Three quarters of a mile on this road now. We're getting close. I think we're very, very close now. Bloody hell, it's him. <laughs> there goes teapot one. Are you absolute swine? Let's see if I can surprise him with my stealth mode. <laughs> Look who we got. Show off with this noise and such. We're coming for you boys. Right, it's making a good dancing with the feet. 
Holding her off. Whoop, into the balloon. Hold her off. Don't let it suck down yet. Don't touch down yet. Holding her off. Holding her off. Holding her off. Oh, nose up. Oh, kiss the ground. Oh. Wow. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> no praise like self-praise, though. Turn left onto Warfield Street. I must be left here. Oh, this silly little Fiat's going that way. The Ponto's going that way. Come on! Right, what we got to do is get out of this plane as quick as we can. Yeah. Start rounding things up. away. Well, yeah, I think. If, or if you want to open that door, do like what's a face touch. Feel free. Yeah. Open that and then put your arm around the back of it so it doesn't flap about. Right, you got it. Just hold it. Like, oh, that's beautiful. Come on! <laughs> Oh no, the Lecky bike's going to beat us. Unless he runs out of power, the Lecky bike is going to beat us. Looks like he's the radio guy. Yeah, I can't do that. How's it been? Hello. Hiya. Oh, yeah. Infuriating sat at the speed limit. <laughs> How are you getting on? Yeah, all right. How much charge you got? I've got 30%. <laughs> oh, he's gone. I think he says he's got 12% battery. Oh, we're going to get beat by an electric bike. I mean, his lamb chops is going to get there. Andy's going to get there. The flyboys will be there already. I'm going to be last. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to buy the pint. Oh, no. That's like five beers. Six beers, if I have one. Although, we're on the motorcycle, so six glasses of water. Yes, finest tap water for my fine friends. Come on! What do you, what exactly do you need to do with the plane? Uh, just secure it. Uh, not a great deal to be honest, it shouldn't take us too long. Take some notes of the numbers, yeah, yeah. And that looks like a twisty section of national speed limits to finish. 8.6 kilometres to go, 24 miles of range, just see if we can use all that up. He's chucking it in. Whoa, bloody hell, where am I going? <laughs> what the heck happened now? Go, 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 go. I think it's called the Beehive. The pub is called the Beehive. Three quarters of a mile down this road. It's a 30. Factoring in 60% for inaccuracies. I don't know what limited is. That's the problem when you're I mean, so preoccupied wondering what speed limit you're in. I think I'm in the national. Right then. Oh, that's oh, we're absolutely stunk here now, lads. I think unless something's gone horribly wrong, there's no way I'm going to catch the chops. But it's all about being there before those flyboys. Turn left down here. Four miles away. Eight minutes, it says we'll be there. Okay, get your plate sorted out, mate. I think it's uh, that's a good idea. Mm, very, very hard left. Bloody hell, that's a tick. Folks, we've landed. Now it's time to go and get in the car, get to the pub. A quarter of a mile turn right. I wasn't expecting that. Last three kilometres, last three minutes. Still with 23% on the battery. Now we can stretch our legs for the last little sprint. That must be one and a half miles. It must almost be there. 
two miles away, people. Why is it we get the long run? <laughs> it's at least a mile to the car. Right, can't even remember where it is. It's not like right? I'm right onto Howie. White Waltham, White Waltham, three and a quarter miles. That's where we're going, White Waltham. Try not to go in. Act normal, act normal. Is it here? Yeah, I think it's here. I think I've got a chance, you know. I really do think I've got a chance here. We must be nearly there. We must be nearly there. It seems to have been a hell of a quick trip. We've got Mr. Faff and Mr. Faff out. I mean, they're going to be faffing around, parking up, putting the chocks in putting the steering lock on, I don't know. Hang on. Continue straight at the roundabout. We could be in for a win here. It could be a win for the H2. So this is it. The question is, are there two smug looking flyboys sitting, already sipping on a cup of Darjeeling waiting for us? Right and then turn right, what? We should have parked the car on the field, didn't Yeah, that was an error. Oh, will you get out of my way? We could be down to the wire here. I reckon we've oh, got 15 minutes on them. Do you? 15 minutes of R&R. That'd be brilliant. If we can get us out with a pint before they get there. Half a mile, turn left. I was wanting to say the pub is on your left in a minute. Not turn left, turn right. I want to be there. White Walton Village. Ah, oh, I think this is... This is where we're supposed to be. Oh, what is this seat so hot? 34 degrees, it is. Wow. Well, we absolutely could not have chose a better day for it. <laughs> Ooh, maybe better fitness levels. Oh, I've missed the turning. I've missed the turning. <laughs> Flonka failed at the last minute. Half a mile on this road. That's not the pub, is it? Well, if they are there before us, they at least ought to have that much about them to get one point uh, more for us. Right. Does that mean we're going to pull one for them, if not? Yeah. Really? God, it's in the prices here. Oh, what sort of convoluted way is this taking me? This can't be the quickest way. Look at this junction for turning right. That's it, air brakes deployed. Slowing into our destination. The Beehive. This is it, this is it, out the way. I don't see any other bikes. I think I'm the first bike. I could have won. I think I'm the first one here. I think we're gonna meet in the back garden. Camera's just run out on the GoPro. So I've just put this on. They're not here. I think I've done it. I think I've won. Right, let's get a drink and wait for the losers. <laughs> the Beehive Restaurant in White Waltle Waltley Waltonston. Well, I can't see them. I don't think that they're here. And Bruce is right behind me. Lamb Chops is already in. Who's the bottom? Who's Andy? Oh! Look, Chops is here already. <laughs> Chops is already here. We got beat by an electric bike. We've beaten them. Unless they're inside the pub, which we said meet outside, we've beaten them. We've beaten them. Unless they're inside, we said meet in the back garden, didn't we? I've only just got here, I've not had time to go in. But if they're not, if we've beaten them. <gasps> we might have beat the fly boys. Uh, Mine was still uh, running. Mine stays. On the display. Is it flashing? Is it flashing green? <sighs> what happened to you? Oh, we were already there. They were already here. <laughs> 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 already here. Uh, Look at cheeky, yeah. cheeky bastards. <laughs> we're all set up in the back garden. Yeah, it looks like it. No, now all my gears in the back garden, helmets on the table. We've already had a beer. Yeah, I've been for a pill and everything. <laughs> uh -oh, I'm not going to shake your hand if you don't mind. 
Oh, well done, Chad. I won. Did you? Did you? Oh, did you win? No, no, I didn't win. Oh. Second. We've well, got a story to tell you, boys. The fuel line had broken off the engine. Oh. Uh, the engine shed, the fuel line uh, dangling loose. Linked out the biker. Yeah, the big man's a biker. Engineering, engineering don't work on a Saturday. We had to find an emergency on call engineer. I had to mail him a photograph of the broken line. Oh. He said, you could probably fly like that, all right. Oh, it's a long probably. Way. So you did. You risked it. You made it. There's a lot of traffic, wasn't there? Yeah. Uh, I honestly thought it was. I, I thought it's got, it seemed to make really good progress, and I'm like, you know what? I could be in with a chance here. Yeah. If they've had a little bit of a delay getting our farm or whatever. Well, you know that Top Gear episode? I was gutted that the plane won, because uh, the car won, because it's yeah. all over that distance. Yeah, well, it just goes to show a bike just filtering past the traffic. Yeah. That's what. Yeah. So I think the drinks are on you boys, did not you? Nothing. Loser gets, gets the drinks. Surely loser gets the drinks, doesn't it? Loser gets the drinks. Got a bit of Bruce a drink for him cutting the fuel line, though. Oh right. yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers, guys. Thanks Sorry you won, but yeah, that was a good, good old one, though. That was the right thing, one. Get back! Get back! <laughs> We ended up in the Hindhead Tunnel. It was like, brrrr. Mate, it was the noise through the Hindhead Tunnel of this. Flames up. Was there flames coming out? Was there flames? I was outside talking to camera saying, it's all over. It's off. You know, we, we, there's no point, or there's no, there's no way we're going to risk. Yeah. Me and him is live just for a yeah, 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 exactly. And they're a bit like, didn't see my driving now, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Bikes win, bikes win. You wouldn't have done if that we had not had the hiccup. Few foreigners overseas there, quintessentially British. Uh, I'll have a, a weak shandy, please, mate. A pint of. We'll send the lads in when they come. Yeah, yeah, brilliant, mate. It's, it's gonna, gonna taste all the better for the victory. 